Okay, guys, let's have a look at 6.4 zero momentum reference frame. There meant to be a little line there. Okay, what's the idea behind the zero momentum reference frame? If you remember, <coughs> we, we have inertial reference frames. Inertial reference frames are any reference frames which are moving at a constant velocity. Uh, relative to Earth, and all the laws, all the laws, conservation of momentum, conservation of energy, are valid in any inertial reference frame. Now the question is, is there possibly an inertial reference frame that we can choose that would simplify a lot of our calculations? Okay, how do you, how do you change your reference frame? Well, you just change the velocity that you are moving when you are when you are observing that collision or whatever okay so if there if a if an object is moving at a certain speed relative to earth and you want to change your reference frame so that various calculations are simpler you would just then change your velocity relative to earth which then would make any uh any calculations when two objects interact, for example, it might make it a lot simpler. Okay, so what do we want to do? So, the, perhaps the, the answer to this is that we want a zero momentum inertial reference frame, which really just is in the name. It's we want to change our reference frame so that the total momentum of or, or meaning the system momentum is zero both before and after any kind of collision okay um, so let's let's start off by trying to explain this with a single object let's call it object a and it has a certain inertia m and say now it's going at 10 meters per second okay and so there's our system and it is 10 meters per second relative to Earth. Okay, so velocity of A relative to Earth is 10 meters per second. So we know that this system, there, there aren't any uh, external interactions. There's nothing transferred across the boundary. So we have the velocity in this reference frame. And we also have the momentum, which is then MV. Okay, and say now... Say now the um, say now the mass is ten kilograms or the inertia is ten kilograms, and the velocity in in this reference frame is ten meters per second. So the momentum here is then ten times ten, and it's one hundred uh, kilogram meter per second. Okay, nothing difficult here. Now, what if I said to you? At what speed should I be moving so that my momentum in that reference frame... Okay, this is measured in the Earth reference frame. But say now I want to go at a another reference frame called M, moving reference frame, such that the velocity of this object in that reference frame is zero. If the velocity in that reference frame is zero, then it means that the momentum in that reference frame is zero. How would I determine what, what the velocity of this reference frame should be? Well, obviously, <clears throat> it should be the velocity that the object is moving at. And how do I determine that? Well, I know this is very trivial, but stick with me, because we're going to start looking at multiple particles interacting, and then it's not so trivial. So if I just had this momentum and I had the inertia, how would I determine what velocity uh, I should get this, uh, I should move in this reference frame so that my momentum would be zero? Well, the way I would do it is I would look at this equation. I would say V, my velocity of this object or even of the system is equal to P over M my momentum over my inertia. So my momentum is 100, my inertia is 10, 
So that equals 10 meters per second. So th this is the, vel I, know it's, I know it's trivial guys, but what we're trying to say is that this is the velocity of my system. My, my system is moving with a velocity of 10 meters per second. So, that, so now if I want to choose the velocity of my reference frame, I choose it as 10 meters per second because then if my velocity of my reference frame is going at the same speed as the velocity of my system, then my system has zero momentum. Because in this reference frame, the velocity of this object is zero. Does it make sense? Okay, so let's prove it. Remember this equation. The velocity of object A in the E, in the Earth reference frame, is the velocity of m reference frame moving reference frame relative to earth plus the velocity of a in the moving reference frame so if this was 10 and that e and this is 10 then we know that v a in the uh, in the moving reference frame must be 0 10 minus 10 is VMA is zero. Okay. So my point is, we need to find out what is the velocity of my system. And in order to, con to get a reference frame where the momentum is zero, I need to get a reference frame that's moving at the velocity of that system. Okay, so let me just clear up some space now. And let's now look at At a, actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to stop the video now, and I will see you in the next one.